According to Shams Charania of The Athletic, Vincent is strongly considering surgery to treat the left knee problems that have kept him out of action for the majority of the season. Although Vincent has been recovering for almost two months, according to Charania, the swelling has returned, making the surgery a likely course of action. Charania continued, if Vincent goes that route, it will take him six to eight weeks to recover. This season, Vincent has only participated in five games. The 27-year-old missed 24 games in a row after appearing in the opening four games of the season before making the comeback on Wednesday. In his 14 minutes of play, Vincent scored three points and disheveled three assists in the Lakers' 14-point defeat to Chicago. In a pregame interview with media prior to the Lakers' 129-120 victory over Oklahoma City Wednesday night, Coach Darvin Ham discussed Vincent's condition. According to Ham, Vincent's knee is swollen a little bit, and the club is figuring out how to treat the injury as best they can. There is increasing hope that Johnson will play when the Atlanta Hawks play the Chicago Bulls on Tuesday, according to ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski. Since November 25, when he sustained a fracture to his left distal radius, Johnson has been absent. The Hawks are 4-10 during this time because they have struggled, especially defensively, without Johnson in the starting lineup. The Hawks, though, have drawn their last six games. Johnson has advanced significantly in the third year. The 6-9 forward averages 14.1 points, 7.3 rebounds, and 2.4 assists per game and has three double-doubles to his credit. He also owns a 594-425-758 shooting slash line. And the Lakers defeated OKC on Saturday night, 129-120, to mostly because of James' dominance. In the end, the Kings scored 40 points, 13 twentieths FG, 5 fifths 3 PT, 9 months FT, along with two steals, two blocks, seven rebounds, and seven assists. In a game against ROT favorite Chet Holmgren, Anthony Davis showed no signs of weakness, finishing with 26 points and 11 rebounds. In addition, Cam Reddish, four points, seven assists. Vanderbilt, two points, six rebounds, one steal, and one block, and Torian Prince, 10 points, six rebounds, left their imprints. James was surrounded by players who could score from inside the court by Les starting lineup, which allowed the offense to center on him as the genuine point guard. This was critical in the face of OKC's unsettling zone defense. With a true shooting percentage of 50.8% and a net rating of 9.7 to 114.3 offensive, 104.5 defensive, the team concluded the game. In addition, they pulled down a team-high 13 rebounds, eight of which were defensive. The play of the new unit on both ends pleased head coach Darvin Ham, just having that size and physicality out there. Switching on pick and rolls from roughly one to five was really, really, really nice. We weathered the storm and recovered with a fantastic defensive quarter in the second quarter, but OKC became really hot, really hot in that first half, the first quarter and especially making six threes. We got serious and established the tone for the remainder of the match. Overall, we were able to keep our cool and accomplish our goals on both sides of the ball. With seven dimes apiece minus 21 of Les 37, James Reddish and Davis demonstrated equally remarkable playmaking.